Hi, y'all. I got this month's Grove Collaborative box. It is a big box. See that? Um, for those that don't know, Grove Collaborative is a uh, supplier of all natural and environmentally friendly household cleaning products, personal care products, all sorts of stuff they have. Hello, Bandit. How are you? Bandit's coming to say hello. How are you, Bandit? You don't know, you don't want what's in this box, okay? You really don't. Anyway, um, this is less any kind of a surprise unboxing than a follow-up to my last Grove Collaborative review. Because I did tell you all, I got these paper towels in my last box, and these paper towels are made from bamboo and uh, sugarcane fibers. The reason that they... Um, they're doing this is that bamboo grows like a weed because it is a weed and it's very very easy without deforestation to grow the materials you need for these towels so I thought well I'll give them a try and I said I'd let you know how they were um, last time I did mention they felt slightly different than regular paper towels not so much I think that you would notice if you didn't know this was a bamboo paper towel but there's a very slight difference to how they feel. And I get a Grove Collaborative box once a month. You can set it up so that you get a shipment once a month to replenish supplies that you've already used. Um, and that's what I do. Basically every month they'll simply renew the order you made last time unless you go in and change it. They give you a heads up. Let me fix this. They give you a heads up about three times before they ship it. So if you want to go in and change your order, you can. Now, certain things, like I have enough dish soap, I didn't need them to send me any more dish soap, so I just took that off. But I did reorder the paper towels. There they are. Okay, and it says on here, bamboo is ready for harvesting in as little as three months, while trees take 20-some years. Bamboo absorbs five times as much CO2 as trees. No pesticides were used in growing our bamboo. Our sugar cane is a byproduct of sugar manufacturing, upcycled to make this product. This variety of bamboo is not a source of food for panda bears. Our soft and luxurious blend is safe for all septic systems. Well, I don't flush paper towels down the toilet, so that's kind of irrelevant to me. But, and they have a little Arbor Day Foundation um, partnership logo down there. I ordered the six pack. Now the rolls don't look all that big and this six pack costs $9.99 which is probably a little bit pricier than I normally pay for paper towels mostly because I wait for them to go on sale at the store. Um, it's about how much a six pack of paper towels will cost if it's not on sale but they're on sale so often that price wise you can do better than this. However, let me tell you, in my house we go through paper towels really fast. So I buy a lot of paper towels. I get my Grove Collaborative shipped once a month. This is the remains of what is on my uh, paper towel roller. I just took it off to make this video. This is one of the bamboo towels and I still have another roll in the cabinet. And it's been a month since I got my order. This is a really thin paper towel, but it's actually pretty strong. Um, I'm really happy with these. Now, I may be using less paper towels because Thomas is away at college and he did a lot of puttering in the kitchen and cooking and all sorts of stuff, but it's still fairly amazing that six rolls of paper towels lasted me almost a month. I say almost a month because um, I did have some other paper towels left over before I cracked open this bag, but it's really been almost a month on six paper towels. That is six rolls. That is amazing for me. So I was happy enough with these um, to reorder them. I'm really happy with them and I may keep ordering them every month. Now when Thomas comes home on Christmas break we'll see how many paper towels he uses and what an influence he had on our paper towel consumption. But uh, right now it's my husband and myself and Mary that's who's living here. Anyway, I would say I give these a hearty recommend. They are reasonably absorbent. I'm sure you could get a paper towel that's more absorbent like a big big fluffy one. Um, but for any spills or wipe ups, they work just fine. They're also strong enough. I can wring them out and use them over again. I, I would recommend them. I really would. Now, if you're in a house with a lot of little kids with a lot of real messy spells, I don't know if they would, uh, do as well as they do in our house, but I would, I would recommend giving them a try. I really would. 
Um, and what else I got? I still have a lot of stuff left over from last time. I did get a Mrs. Meyers fall scent. I got pumpkin spice last time, and it is okay if you like pumpkin spice. I'm not a big pumpkin spice fan, but it's seasonal and it's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the smell. I just decided to try something different, so I got a mum scent in a Mrs. Meyers cleaner. And I also got my usual that I get every month, these um, walnut and cellular <coughs> scrubber sponges that are incredible. I get two packs of them, so I get four sponges, and they easily last me the month. And then I got a Mrs. Meyers Compassion Flower hand soap. This is a Grove Collaborative exclusive one because you can get Mrs. Meyers a lot of places. Some Targets have it. Some grocery stores have it. Um, the Grove Collaborative tends to have a wide variety of scents, including the seasonal ones. Ooh, that's kind of nice. That's more of a springtime scent, but it's really pretty. It's a shame we don't have smell-o-vision. I said that last time, I think. This is a blend hybrid of pansy and a spreading viola. Viola? Isn't that a musical instrument? That would be interesting. Um, but I figured I'd give that a try. So there's my two fall smells. I have plenty of dish soap left. I have pumpkin spice dish soap. I have pine dish soap. And I have bluebell dish soap, which I really like the smell of Mrs. Meyer's bluebell. It smells a little bit like ivory soap used to smell a long time ago, and I always love that smell. And that's all I got in this box. It looked like a giant, huge box of stuff, but that's because I had the paper towels. But mostly I'm doing this unboxing because I wanted to follow up with you all and let you know how those paper towels worked out. Um, I will put a link to my Grove Collaborative below. It's a referral link, so if you order Grove Collaborative through that link, then yes, they will give me a discount off my next order. I forget how much. Um, but the other thing is they will send you a free, I think the current promotion is a Mrs. Meyers gift set combination of items if you sign up for Grove Collaborative and schedule orders to be shipped. So go take a look, follow the link, and just take a look and see if it's something that would interest you. I really like getting the box each month and getting some really cool smelling stuff and occasionally a surprise. That's all for now. I should be getting a Sephora play shortly and I scheduled my next, sti next stitch fix pretty quickly. It was a three week gap after this one because I really liked my last one and I really need a fall coat. So I'm hoping I can get a fall coat in my next box. We will see at the end of October. Stay tuned and I will see you later.